It's a Tuesday in Saratoga Springs, Utah. It's a really nice day too. The skies are clear and it's in the low 70s when Aiden, a nine-year-old boy, is walking toward his friend's house. Out of nowhere, a man pulls alongside him in a tan Chevy Tahoe, jumps out and charges at him. Aiden runs as fast as he can, but he trips and the man grabs him, puts him in the car and tries to duct tape his mouth shut. But Aiden fights him and as they drive off, the boy pleads with the man to let him go. It's a nightmare scenario that is at the core of every parent's worst fear. Approximately every 40 seconds a child in the United States goes missing or becomes abducted. Of all the people reported missing to the FBI, between 85 and 90 percent of them are children. There are several important things you can do to teach your children to make them less of a target. You can Google Sex Offenders Registry and several sites will pop up allowing you to see the registered sex offenders live in and around your neighborhood. They're out there and they know about your kids. It's only fair that you know about them too. Being prepared means you don't think about just your own personal safety, but especially that of your children. Teaching your kids the important safety fundamentals and preparing them for everyday encounters are some of the most important things that you can do. It's especially important since a lot of their safety will be out of your control and heavily dependent on their responses and their reactions. My fellow officers and I teach our families how to live safer and I want to share it with you what I tell my own kids. I know this information can save lives. Fortunately, Aiden was able to escape. He jumped from the moving car and hid behind a dumpster while his kidnapper looked for him. And then Aiden employed a safety tactic that we recommend to our members. He used what's called a gizmo watch. It's a brand of watch you can buy that allows your parents to locate you using GPS and it has four pre-programmed numbers that your child can call at any time. Aiden called his stepfather and was rescued. At the time of this filming, his kidnapper is still at large. He is described as a white male with long black hair and a goatee. Cops behave differently with their kids because we're paying attention to the things that most people don't even know. Things like how kids should react to strangers and what kinds of behavior can put them in danger, such as wandering from their group or their parents. Don't buy one of those book bags with your kid's name stitched into it. You're advertising your kid's name to a predator. We teach him things like an adult should never approach children for directions or help them with something. If they do, it's probably a bad person. We understand things like Halloween is really Christmas for pedophiles, and we teach our kids how to be less vulnerable and what to do if they're confronted and train our kids in how to deal with this stuff. A great way to reinforce this stuff is to play what if with them. For example, what if a man offers you money or he offers you a gift or he asks you inside his house? Welcome back to Bolo, and we hope you're continuing to be on the lookout. We're glad to continue training and coaching you to live safer and smarter using the same techniques that police officers share with their own families. In our next series, we'll cover several important security aspects of your children's safety, including Halloween protocols, bus stop tips, school suggestions, social media usage, kids in public places, field trips, babysitters, and sleepovers. Over three million American children are victims of sexual abuse. One in 10 are abused before the age of 19, and of those, 93% of the time, it's by someone they know. Your child's safety is too important to gamble with. Get the knowledge you need to keep your family safe with our three-point plan we call the Bolo Triangle of Safety. Each lesson will provide you with three important steps. Awareness of your surroundings, action when you notice something that's not right, and how to take the proper precautions to help you avoid being a victim. It's designed to help you reduce your vulnerability to crime before it happens. That's the three points of the Bolo Triangle of Safety, awareness, action, and avoidance. Learn the secrets that police officers teach their families. Go to bolo.tv and subscribe today or download our app for our unique, easy to learn personal safety courses weekly safety coaching, and important updates and safety product reviews from our team through our convenient mobile Bolo on the Go quick reminder videos. It's time to live safer, smarter, and better prepared. It's time to be on the lookout. Welcome back.
to Bolo. <laughs>